conflict in the body of Messiah. So how are we supposed to come together as one body in Messiah when we can't even agree on scripture? They are both Old and New Testament believers, the Christians and the Israelites, that believe there are certain commandments we are and are not to keep. You have those New Testament believers that say, we're not underneath the Torah. We don't have to keep Sabbath. We don't have to keep the Most High's holy days. We can eat anything we want. We can eat pork and shrimp. All we have to do is pray over our food. And then there's those Old Testament believers that say, we don't have to be baptized. We can have more than one wife. And some of those Old Testament believers go as far as to say, Messiah was just a prophet. He hasn't even come yet. There's other things, but this is just an example. This is not unity and we are far from it. I can also add the matter of whether to circumcise or not, calling on the sacred names or not, celebrating these heaven forsaken holidays, celebrating the dead, getting tattoos, communicating with the dead, believing that everyone automatically goes to heaven when they pass away, or even that their dearly departed beloved one is looking down on them. Yet and still, the body of Messiah is steadily pointing fingers at each other, scrutinizing each other, condemning each other. So how, where, when does it end? And Yeshua said, narrow is the way that leadeth to life and few find it. Truth is, everybody is not going to make it into the kingdom. This is why you are to use discernment and work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Some believers are simply arrogant, haughty, unrighteously judgmental, extremely pious, and far from humility. Meanwhile, the wicked is gathering their armies and the body of Messiah is divided. Scripture says a kingdom divided will not stand, but the wheat and the tares will grow together. We gotta get it together, Israel. There's strength in numbers. This is not the time to flaunt your religious piety. We are headed for some dark times. See how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity.